In this video we're going to focus on the eighth section of the Mark scene, which is to do with the sources uh, table, sometimes known as the assets table. Um, it's a really easy part of the project and you just need to basically reference all of the pictures, videos, sounds, anything, information, all that stuff, anything that you find or anything that you create has to be included in your sources table. In the uh, project report you've got a sources table. Um, I've done it uh, with two different colours here. The green bar is I want to show you how it should be done. The red bar is how you don't do it. So let's take a look at uh, Google. This is probably where you're going to find most of your images. Now what you don't want to do is record the Google link to that picture. okay? Because these links change all the time. What you need to do is go to view image and view the actual image make a note of the name, so this is called Team Building JPG and copy that entire link from the top and paste it into your sources table here Okay, um, that's how the link should look I've called it Team Building JPG like it said and I filled in the table fully so I've said what type of file is it, well it's a picture file and why are you using it, well it shows one of the team building activities I want um, and it also is suitable for the right age range. Is it copyrighted? Yes it is because I didn't make it myself. Anything that you make that's original is automatically copyrighted to you and the same goes to anyone else so any images that you find unless you see otherwise are copyrighted but you're free to use them for educational purposes. Um, and which requirement is it helping me to meet? Well if you remember at the start of the project you wrote down the requirements. Um, for me this is um, showing a fun team building activity and it's aimed at the right target audience. That is exactly how you should be doing that uh, sources table. In red here this is how you don't do it. So I've named the file, that's fine, but then I've copied the Google link in and it, as you can see it's massive and that's not what you're supposed to do. I've just said it's an image and because I like it that's not what you should write. You shouldn't say I don't know if it's copyrighted or not. If you don't know the safe bet is that it is copyrighted and which requirement is it helping to meet? Don't write all of them. Don't write something silly. Don't write I don't know. Be specific. Look at your, um, if you go back up to the start of the project, go back up to where you wrote down the requirements up in this section and look at them and think, right, which requirement is that picture helping me to meet and write that down in that table. And that's it, that's your sources table.